simply okay yeah well clearly you weren't on there properly were you Paul McGann What is up guys? Welcome to another Doctor Who video here on my channel. In today's video we have an unboxing but we also have a review. As you can see by the nice label on here, for the very first time in my life I have a Big Chief Studios Doctor Who figure, statue, whatever you call them. Let's take a look. So just before this video begins let me know in the comments down below what do you think of my new intro? Do you like it? Does it need to be changed? Let me know what you think. Any ideas would be appreciated because after all this is our channel so I'm trying to make it as accessible and as enjoyable for, for everyone. And with that being said, drop down some comments also down below letting me know if you've got any Doctor Who Big Chief figures and what you think of them because I'll be really kind of interested to know what you guys think and how many of you actually collect these. Now these figures are quite expensive. This one cost me just shy of £300, which is an awful lot of money for one Doctor Who figure. I mean, technically it's like a, a statue. I wouldn't suggest playing with it, but it is a lot of money. But I'm just kind of hoping it's worth it. I've seen a lot of reviews online and apparently these are amazing. The detailing in them is fantastic, so we're just gonna go for it. Dun, 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 dun. The suspense is killing me. Doc, you can't even see it. Can you? Maybe you could. Okay, so I went for Doctor Number Eight. Of course, I did. Paul McGann. Doctor I kind of grew up with because when I was a kiddie, this was on TV, the, uh, the Doctor Who movie, of course. So, yes, I have taken the plunge. Now, also, by the way, I have actually, a long time ago, pre-ordered the third Doctor, the Master, and recently the sixth Doctor. So I'm building a little collection up. Also, I've pre-ordered the fourth Doctor, which has just been re-released on Zavi. So, definitely kind of worth checking those out if you want to pre-order those. But like I say, this particular video is going to be all about Doctor number eight. So the first thing to know is the packaging is really, really nice. I had no idea what to expect. We've obviously got the, the mug shot there of Mr. Paul McGann. We've got the Eighth Doctor, Sixth Scale Character Replica Figure. That's what it's it's known as. And of course, the Big Chief logo at the bottom. At the back of the package, you can see a lovely, lovely version of what hopefully is inside of this one. So I'm just... I'm super eager to open this one up. Now this one isn't the uh, signed version. You can buy the signature edition, which is, well, even more money. And I believe that one was sold out. I'm not too fussed about having the super, super expensive one. So for now, this will do like 100%. So uh, for the first time I'm opening this up, it's not even sealed, so that's fine. Let's pop this open. So there's the lid, quite simple and straightforward. Right then, you're seeing this for the first time, as I am. I literally just, oh wow, I'm, I'm so excited about this. This is mad. So there's some more artwork here, of course, of the Eighth Doctor looking rather nice. And then it looks like a bit of a book cover. Oh my God, there he is. Fucking hell, I'm getting nervous. So we've got some Time Lord texty stuff on the inside there. And am I allowed to call him a doll? Because he looks like a doll. I don't know. Now nah, we'll stick to calling him a figure, I think. So I'm going to pull the figure out from the box. There's some more stuff going on in here. There's all sorts of accessories. That's one thing that Big Chief seemed to be uh, very keen on, and that's the accessories that come with all this. So I'm going to leave this box to one side for a moment and focus primarily on the actual figure itself, because I think, if I'm not much mistaken, that's what everyone would like to see. So that's just a bit of packaging there. Very well protected, and can I say the smell is amazing? <laughs> I just love the smell of plastic. I am, um, oh dear, we've lost the hand already. It's not the hand of Omega, hopefully not. Um, one thing I will notice, if I if I pull, 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 <laughs> pull, 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 oh dear, this gets worse. If I pull, poor pull, pull, oh, I just can't even say it now, out of the packaging, he has a, a bag on his head, which is good for the fact that it's 
kind of making sure that he's safe, but it isn't very good if a child buys this, because any kids watching my videos, don't put plastic bags over your head, ever. And don't eat silicon gel, either. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to put this down on the floor and have a look at the doll. Okay, so there you can see the detailing, and I'm not going to lie, this looks 110% like Paul McGann. It's absolutely amazing. Like, I, I can't even believe it at this point. I've only got one other kind of doll size figure to compare this with. So just for, you know, curiosity, because the other one cost me about five quid from B&M, let's take a look at the differences between Paul McGann and Jodie Whittaker. So there you have it, folks. You can definitely tell that one of them is well, 300 quid, and the other one wasn't quite so much. But nonetheless, I do love my Jody doll as well. But let's get back to Paul McGann. So at this point, I'm I'm super impressed with this. I mean, yes, it did cost a lot of money, but look at the detailing. I'm not going to go massively into a massive in-depth review about all the different costumes and cloths it has, because that's not really what I do in this channel. This channel is more about me opening a figure, being completely fucking crazily excited about it, and just showing you guys what it looks like. So... If you want a more in-depth review, then I'm sure they're around on YouTube. I'm more about just having a bit of fun. So, yeah. Doesn't he just look amazing? The texture as well on his hair? It just looks insane. Like, it absolutely captures everything. He has a bit of stubble as well. He's got like a five o'clock shadow on there as well, which is kind of cool around the old uh, chin which is quite nice. Now what I'm quite excited about is to see just how well he stands up. Of course there are many many accessories that are included with this guy, so with that being said, let's take a look and see what else comes with this dude. So as creepy as it may seem, it comes with what seems to be three sets of hands, so different poses there as well. You've got this one here so we can successfully pick his nose perhaps. Um, you've got this one here as well, which kind of is a more of a grappling type hand. We've got his uh, thumb up as well. Hopefully not up his ass. Uh, and so yeah, we've got some we've got some pretty cool little hands going on there. Then we've also got oh, there's just so many things. So I'm gonna change the camera angle just so you guys can see a bit more detail of what's going on because the sunlight, the lights, it's all just too much glare. So hold on two seconds, guys. Okay, so we're back now and we can see a bit more detail. So this is the wrench type thing. I can't remember the exact name of it but of course the thing that uh is it what grace hits him around the back of the head with i haven't seen this for so long um so you can obviously display him with that it's in its packaging still we've also got this lovely watch that would uh, go around the doctor's hand we've also got if i show you here the tardis key as well we've got other bits here we've got a sonic screwdriver we've got a magnifying magnifying glass We've got this little thing here, which I can't remember what it is, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, and then we've got some more stuff over here, just above this little tiny thing. I'm really crap at doing these reviews, aren't I? Um, and there's also a bag in here, which, if you can just see, that is his Jelly Babies as well. And that's probably what I'm going to be displaying him with shortly. Now, you may be wondering, Raven, how the hell does this guy stand up? Without falling over, well, I believe, if I'm not much mistaken, yep, he does come with a stand. Now, this is the second part of the packaging. If I open this up and show you, you'll see what I mean by the stand. So, we've got... Okay, so we have this lovely little packet here, which basically explains about your figure. And it also kind of tells you here that... You can put a battery in the base of the stand and it then populates a light, which is really, really cool. So that's quite nice. Then we have the stand itself, which appears, here it is, lovely, lovely thing. There is, um, there's my reflection, there is like a line in it there, if you can see that, it kind of looks like a, well, not a crack, but more like a bubble. Now, a question I have is, can I remove this, like, stuff is there something like is it a protection stuff i can peel off or have i just got an unlucky uh kind of ugly stand so can you please let me know in the comments down below if you know about how i can maybe peel this off perhaps it i don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna come off or not but yeah please do let me know there's the on off switch of course i take it there's no batteries in there it's already turned on so that would be a no so that's the stand. It kind of feels a little bit cheap, if I'm honest, but we've got some more stuff under there, of course, about Big Chief. 
Incredible, okay. So it comes with a battery, which was pretty awesome. Wasn't expecting that. So we will put the battery in in just a moment. We have this as well, which I again am not quite sure what that is. So comments down below and please let me know. We've got some little pegs here for, for something as well. And this is the stand that basically holds up the doctor. So let's see if we can get the battery in the unit. And let's also see if we can get him standing nice and straight and protected. So bear with me, I'll be back. It's a sonic screwdriver, Jamie. Well, obviously it's a Phillips screwdriver, but never mind. Um, okay, how do we get into this? Okay, so the batteries are in. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. It lights those up. Not much difference if I'm 100% honest about that. But never mind, it does do something nonetheless. Let's see about getting the Doctor to stand up on the plinth. Okay, so I've also just now opened this and it actually says that it's authenticated by Mr. Mark Andrews, which must be the guy that basically produces these big finished things, which is quite nice. Like I say, this isn't the signed edition. Well, it is technically signed <laughs> um, to, what's his face, uh, Mark Andrews. But uh, apparently, yeah, limited to only 1,000. So there's only 999 of these left out there. So that's kind of cool. Right, so these little pegs here, not quite sure what they do, to be completely honest with you. So comments again down below if you know what these are for. I'm sure they're supposed to hold him up or something. But anyway... We have the, the stand, we have the eighth doctor. So do we just, I don't know, do we just stand him on there and hook that in there like this? Let's have a look. That looks like it's done the job. Let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so there he is looking rather cool. Um, he's standing, standing quite comfortably, which looks quite nice. Before I end this video, I'm gonna quickly change his pose and just see what else we've got. There is articulation, of course, in the figure. I'm going to change his pose and make him look a little bit more happy because he looks a little bit depressed. So I've decided to uh, display him with his jelly babies and how cool are they? The detailing on the jelly babies alone is mad but this is the TARDIS key. Keep it still Raven, keep it still. Look at the detailing on that as well. Madness, absolutely madness. I'm going to get this and display it in his hands. Okay so I've now taken his hand out. I now know what these little pegs are for. Of course their little ball joints to hold the hand in so yeah I know I've, I've figured it out as I've gone along so that's pretty cool let's see if we can get it out so I'm now gonna put this hand in so you've just gotta I think you've gotta just push it in as hard as you can there it's a go till it clicks and then you can put his hand in making sure that he doesn't have two left hands like I seem to have so that's a hand there. Okay, so I've put in the, the other hand. So he's kind of got a, a bit of a different style hand. I'm hoping now that this will mean that the old jelly babies will fit in his hand. So he's got articulation there. You've just got to, it is a little bit tight, but you're not going to really, you know, play around with his figure too much. I've actually decided to display the clock here. As you can see, the clock's detailing is amazing. You can just see how small this is, but it really does look impressive. Oh, what a catch. What an absolute catch. Okay, so as you can see, I've tried to display him as he was kind of sort of displayed on the box. I've made a fucking fuck up of it probably, but... That being said, I'm really, really impressed with this figure. You really need some time with him alone, if that sounds not creepy, just to kind of like get used to the accessories and where they go and, you know, just mucking around. So doing it live on camera wasn't so easy. But nonetheless, I've really enjoyed doing this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the video. I think it deserves some love. Simply shit. Okay, yeah, well, clearly you weren't on there properly, were you, Paul McGann? So, but yeah, okay, so this video has been a bit of a mess, but if you've enjoyed it, then yeah, thanks for enjoying it, and I will see you all again for another very unprofessional review. Where's the clock gone? I don't know, I've lost it. Oh well, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you all again very, very soon. Take care, and well, would you like a jelly baby officer? <laughs> see you later.